Welcome back, New World Explorers, Adventurers, and Friends. Right now in a tournament, it's pretty freaking boring. We're still awaiting news in June on the future prospects of the game. Some of us are excited and others not so much. Let me know in the comments if you have hopes for New World's future or if you think it's doomed. With that being said, let's get into the video. I'm bored and I need to some gold, so I decided to kill a thousand one rabbits so you don't have to. I'll lay out the route, how long it took, as well as how much gold I made doing it. During this test, I've figured out an almost exact percentage rate for sumptuous rabbit drops, which are going for 60, 70 to 80 gold apiece, depending upon your server. I also discovered a nerf to the drop rate at a certain point. Let me know if you've noticed drop rates change of any items in the past after a certain number have been obtained. As always, thanks for checking the video out. And if it helps you, please consider a like and subscribe and it's much appreciated. For this route, I chose Brimstone Sands near the wall of Nebit Head. Mainly I chose this route because it's easy to remember it also has armadillo. The prime armadillo meats also sell for around 70 gold each, so this helps make a bit of extra coin. I always start any gathering route by placing a campsite so I can see it and run to it when I restart the route, so it makes a circular path. Always wear a full skinning set as well as three major skinning trophies in your home. I also use the tier 5 skinning luck food and a proficiency booster. You could also check the cutlass key fort buff for global luck and possibly run flag. I chose to remain in PvE mode mainly because getting one shot in the middle of making a video wouldn't fit with the testing I'm trying to do. Now I will show you that route. If you would just like to see the percentages and the nerf I spoke about, you can skip this part and go to the end of the video. I will run the route as I continue to talk about it. I've been running this route quite often for the past few months and it's very similar to a video or chorister had put up recently. It is perfect because it takes almost 5 minutes and the rabbits repop almost instantly as you run the route. There are 26 rabbits and 12 armadillos on the route before returning to my start point. We kept track of kills by the total number of game meat minus scaly hides since they are exclusive to the armadillo. When I hit around 1100 kills, something very strange happened, which I will talk about at the end of the video. While I continue to run the route, I'd like to ask all of you what thing you hope are announced in June related to the new world and its future. I think it's probably fairly safe to assume that console release is part of that. What other things do you want to see? Personally, I would like a new PvP mode and maybe better arena awards. Call me dumb, but I'd like another expansion like the Brimstone Sands one, where we actually have elite mobs to battle that drop some useful gear. A level and gear increase that is more in line with the Umbral Shards type thing we had with the 600 to 625 gear score would be nice as well. Maybe it will use up all those fragments that we hoard from salvaging current gear. You can only dream of that, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll continue to run the route with a little music in the background, and when it's finished, I will show you the drop rates, as well as the nerf and how much gold I made total and per hour.
All right, so like I said, basically while I was doing this testing, I needed some gold, so I, I did get a lot of gold. I um, killed 875 rabbits and received 131 sumptuous rabbits. That was around, uh, what was it, 24,000 gold or so. And then on top of that, I had 55 prime armadillo meat, so that was another four or 5,000 gold there. So pretty good. I had a good route there, and it, that took me about four hours or so. I did notice something strange. I killed 100, so I killed 875 rabbits to get those 133, which is around 15%. And then the uh, almost 400 prime armadillos, like 375, yeah, 375 to get 55. So that was also around 15%. But when I got to that point, I kept killing so I could try to get to the 1,001 rabbits, and I did not get any more sumptuous rabbits at all. I also did not receive any more prime armadillo meat, so no blues at all. I did get a purple rabbit's foot once, which was strange. Usually if you get that, you get the blue rabbit meat as well. I thought it was strange because I had run a 15% up until that point and used all the same buffs. Uh, nothing changed at all. I even zoned out, logged out, went to Rabbit Island, uh, went around Everfall, tried some of those, and didn't get anything. And I don't know if you guys have noticed anything like that before, but kind of like a shadow nerf on uh, certain items, uh, or maybe someone had mentioned maybe prismatic scarabs or gold scarabs, sorry, were like that as well. So if you let me know in the comments if you've experienced anything like that before, but I think there was definitely some sort of nerf because after 5 a.m. again, when everything resets, so like your prismatic crafts and such and your asmonium for the day, I went out again and started to get at a pretty normal drop rate again. So I think there must be some kind of nerf. So hopefully with June announcement, we get some good stuff for the game, bring some players back, and uh, hopefully we'll see you then. Uh, keep watching the videos if they help you. If they don't, well, don't watch. But if you do, please consider a like and a subscribe. It's appreciated much. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, you guys. Have a great night.